Here we are in section 5.4 with numbers 10 through 19. Determine if the following are differences of squares. That means we have a difference, meaning subtract, of something squared, something squared. If it looks like this, a squared minus b squared, remember the formula for that is a plus b, a minus b. Those are those conjugate pairs that when you multiply them, allow the middle term to leave. And notice that they are opposites so that, that middle term can, those middle terms can cancel. So when you multiply opposites, you get minuses. That's why you can't do a sum of squares. So then factor. If, un if unfactor, we'll explain why. So we have a subtract sign. We have an x squared, and that's a 6 squared. So that's going to be x plus 6, x minus 6. Bingo, that's it. And you can multiply it back together and see the magic happen when you multiply those. Number 11, do we have a subtract sign? No. So this is unfactorable. This is now the sum of squares. Okay, And it is not possible to do that. And you can see this 16y to the fourth could have been a square. 9 is a square, but it didn't have a difference in it. Here, yeah, look at that. We have a difference. So this right here is 2x plus 3, 2x minus 3. 4x squared is 2x altogether squared. Oh, here we have a difference, but 24 is not a square, 54 is not a square, but is there something that can come out of both of those? Indeed, there's a 6 that comes out, and you get 9x squared minus 4. Ooh, look at those pretty square numbers right there. So this will go a little bit further and go 3x plus 2 and 3x minus 2. There we go. Now, here we have a square, 4y squared. Here's a square 25, but notice that negative's on the front. So I'm going to rewrite it like this, and yes, indeed, it is now a difference of squares. So we have 2y minus 5, 2y plus 5. And you can multiply it back out to see those middle terms cancel. Ooh, what do we got here? Anything common? No, but we do have a difference. 25g to the 8th. So this is 5 squared. That's 9 squared. g to the 8th. What times itself would be g to the 8th? g to the 4th. So this is 5g to the 4th plus a 9. 5g to the 4th minus a 9. And if we look closely at that, wow, this is almost was able to go down again because this is a difference, but that 5 is not a square. Okay, let's try this. Um, 27 is not a square, 3 is not a square, but we could pull a 3 out of them to make them look kind of nice. There we go. Yeah, then this can go 3 plus m, 3 minus m. And we could have written the minus sign first, that's fine. Ooh, what about this one? Well, we can take a y out, so we get a y to the 4th plus a 4, and then this guy right here cannot go any further. It could have if that was a minus sign, but it can't. This from right here is the sum of squares. <clears throat> and that can't go anywhere at all. This guy right here, look, we have a difference. 1 is a perfect square. x squared is a perfect square. But, ooh, bad. The 2. So this is not factorable right now. It is a binomial, and it is not going to be a difference of squares. So we can't do anything with it. OK, the last one. This is 4 squared. That's 7 squared. So this one's looking good. This can be a 4x plus a 7 and 4x minus a 7. And there we go.